I got my board. I think you can see it. Yeah. And my background. I think that is so pretty. This is what I was talking about. The fleece. All the doggies on it. Now, we're going to take and we're going to put this right on top of it. Lay it out as flat as we can. I think these corners turned out good. I, I like them a whole lot better than what I was going to do with the, just the flat corners. I don't, didn't like that too well. So, we're doing good here. Lighten this out just as much as I can. Alright, now we don't have no flat surface to uh, put, to leave to open it and turn it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one corner. One corner, I'm getting a couple of pins here, and I'm going to pin it down, and this is going to be my corner that I leave open to uh, turn it inside outwards, and hopefully I can do it through that little hole, <laughs> I hope so, alright, so now I'm going to start pinning down. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the middle and start pinning it down. If I surveyed
They call him Jesus. He came to love. He'll ever give. He lived and died. To buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior lives. My back is hurting, but we are ready to sew it down. All right, let's get busy. Let's get this uh, quilt done so that we can take the pins out of it and finish it up. So now I got to find my spot where I got my double pins at. Let's see. Well, that one's not it. That's not it. Here we go. So we're going to go all the way around with it. I got supper on, so I'll be back and forth with this thing. We don't want to stretch it or anything. So, first thing we're going to do is go backwards. And then we're going to go forward. Stop. We want slower. And we're going to try to go around each curve. Oh no, something's not working already. Oh my god, no, don't do this. <sighs> I don't need it. No. If this keeps up, I'm just going to go straight around it. I ain't going to fight with it. That. Like I said, keep this up. And I'm going to change it. as I can. Oh my god, that's too slow. Too slow. Alright, this ain't working. This ain't working at all. Okay. Now, I have a choice here. If I want these right here, 
I'm going to have to sew this by hand to have them because it's not going to work on the sewing machine as we can tell so I'm going to try to sew these by hand all the way around and then when I get that done then we'll be back and it'll probably be tomorrow before I can do it so there's another day added all right I have the quilt and I'm going to try to sew it all the way around if I can get it to work, work on it I hate doing it this way but I'm going to alright I'm just going to pick up where the stitches left off because I ain't going to need me to re-sewing that and hopefully, we can do it. Start it off right here. I wish I'd have brought my pins uh, thing in so I can get rid of my pins as I went. But I'm going to make little stitches in here. I don't want big stitches. I'm going to tell you right now, my needle feels dull. I've been using it on this rug. So, I may have to get me another uh, needle. And I'm making small stitches in here. Oh my God, I'm, I'm always worried about my stitches coming loose. And hopefully they won't. Make sure it's flattened. And what I'll probably end up doing is cleaning this table off so I can lay it down. Probably be a whole lot better for me in the long run. But I want to make sure that I do some back stitching. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. So I will. Uh oh, I hear my a cat. So, I'll be back and I'll clean all this off and I'm going to put it up here and try to make it easier to work with. Alright, let's see if this will work. I know. I've already see I already got one bubble in it. Which, that's not a good thing. But I can get these pins out now. So... I am not quite for sure what to do about that. So, unless I take it all apart, I don't think I want to do that.
gonna go find me another needle. I don't like this one. This one is not a happy needle. All right, I changed my needle and I sewed a little bit and it's a whole lot better. And what I'm gonna start doing is I'm going to do one turn and then I'm gonna put a knot and then I'm gonna, you know, right down to here I don't have to go by. But I can go a little bit and put a knot then that way I don't have to worry about it so much and I'll come and loose. I don't know why, but I do. I always worry about my stitches and y'all probably do that the same thing. So this really ain't going to take that long to do from the looks of it the way I have it laid out here it looks like it's going to go pretty quick get my knots in there and it's not going to be that bad I know if I keep on hitting in that wood it's going to dull as needle right real quick but I don't have anything I could put underneath there. Unless I put one of my pads underneath there. But I think the wood will be alright. Now I'm going to turn it. And I'll to where I can get to this part. But I think it will work pretty good. If I try to keep all this right here laying flat but I've already done got that one side so now I got this side to go All right, let's get you back son I think it's gonna work out good all right, I think it's about time. I don't know what time it is. Where's my phone? So what time it is? I gotta go get Rick. Plus, I, I try and I'm trying to get on a schedule to do my Bible every night at nine o'clock. Ooh, I've got plenty of time. It's only eight o three, so I got time. Let's throw it back over out of the way. What we can do here to continue on around. Well, I think so far this is going to work out pretty good. And, and this is weird on this on this thread. Right here is my thread to go that comes out. But right here, this one's coming out from in here. And if you turn it around here, you've got another thread that's coming out from underneath. And I'm like, why in the world did they do that for? That's not kosher. Well, I'm putting a lot of love in this one, too. <laughs> Taking it and uh, having to sew this by hand. And, and the more I'm doing it, the more I wish it turned out different. And the more I'm saying, why did I want to put these cones on here for? <coughs> <coughs> but I think these cones are going to look pretty good when, I, when we get it done. All right, now this is the end of this thread. So I'm going to get some more thread. I'd rather do it in small intervals with the thread because if something happens to it, it's going to happen um, within that small, small space. And... Uh, you can sell a small space better than you can a longer space. 
Let's see if I can thread this needle again. Right on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I still got my eyesight. And I'm pretty sure that this little quilt is going to turn out really nice. I'm loving them dogs. I was cooking supper and everything that could go wrong went wrong. I spilt stuff in the floor. I just had a rotten night trying to cook. I didn't cook anything spectacular, but I did cook something. Don't have the money to go out. You know, it's cheaper to eat out now than it is to fix something at home anymore. Me and Rick were looking at it and we're like, what? He said, I can't believe it's easier. It's better to cook out or eat out than it is to cook. You'd think it eating at home. But it ain't. At least we're right here. We live at. But no, I still will not eat McDonald's. <laughs> or Wendy's or Burger King or none of them. I won't eat none of that. Okay, come on. Where's that at? There it is. Okay, we can handle that. But it's working out, I think. Alright, I'm pretty sure y'all don't want to watch me do this whole thing. So I'm going to work on it for about an hour. And then I'm going to do my Bible. And pull it out again and work on it some more. If I can get myself to stop. I like it whenever I put the camera to rolling. And whatever happens, it just happens. And then that way I don't have to stop it and start it, stop it and start it. and I don't care for that. I really don't. I'd really go ahead and play it. And sometimes I can think of things to say. Sometimes I can't. Alright. There we go. We'll be back whenever I get all the way around it. Cindy sent me a picture that she had made uh, the Confederate flag. And this is the way I wanted to make the Confederate flag, too. So I'm going to pick up right where she did it. And I'm going to try my best to do it the same way she did it. And hopefully I can keep it in my mind what it looks like. Hello, Elia. What are you doing on my work? What are you doing? Are you trying to stop me from working? You're just like Mama Cat. If you're doing it, I got to be in there to help you. Yeah. Now, where are you going? Now, you don't need to get in my junk. Okay, hold it up straight. What are you doing? Okay, lay down there. All right, I think it's time. I, I, I did it all the way around. And I was waiting on the cat to move off, off of it. And I went and got Rick, and I said, cat will be gone by the time I get back. Well, lo and behold, the cat was gone, and I started sewing. And I was already done. Alright, I'm going to take my pinking shears, and I'm going to cut around it. And I should go the other way. I'd be more comfortable doing it. So, let's see if I can't get it over this way. 
and I would be more comfortable doing it this way. Now, as I go, I'm going to want to cut just a little bit on the uh, ice cream. So, whenever I do the corners and go around and all, I don't want to cut into my thread. I want to get to a corner like this. I'm going to go ahead and go on over and cut on the other one. But I'm going to take my other scissors and I'm going to go right down the middle, right here. I might get a little bit closer to it. And cut down it. Cut down this one. I don't want to cut into my thread where I sew. Gee whiz, no we. Alright, why ain't you wanting to cut? There, there we go. I'm just doing it too lightly. But I'm going to do this all the way around. And this right here will help my cones go um oh no i cut my thread that's what i was afraid of okay i'm not gonna do that no more i quit on that part that's just gonna have to wait now i gotta fix that before i go anywhere else oh man that was not not good i can't get it to cut the scissors to cut it's too thick do that. Alright. Let me go find my spot where my last knot is. There is my last knot right here. So I'm gonna pick it up right here at my last knot. I hope it'll turn out without <coughs> doing it. Alright. Re sew it down. So I'm going to expect that right there to come completely out sooner or later. I don't want to do this again. <laughs> no. So I'm not even going to worry about in between them. But I thought that was awful funny. Here I come in to try to redo, uh, sew some more. And I'm done. I'm glad that cat got on it, because I probably would have sewed it. Alright. I'm going to go down past where I cut it. And I'm going to make my knot like I would, like, like I did been doing. Take it on up the other side to where I have a nut, the other knot over here. And then that way I have it. But I ain't doing that again. Hopefully it'll turn out right. be back if you would like to donate to poor man sewing come down here to poor man sewing then come up here and look for about and right here you can donate to the channel and every donation is really appreciated we thank you very much and I hope you have a blessed day